My book that I title Heels vs. Ties is a book intended to educate all the women in the world about the risk factor for heart disease, the difference that um, in presentation of heart disease in women and men, and also the difference in treatment. Um, Heels vs. Ties tried to make a remark that we are not little men when it comes to treatment and management of heart disease. For decades, women have been treated differently, like they are little men, because most of the research have been done in men, so they just get extrapolated in management and, and treatment for women. The book is like a mini guide. We know that 64% of the women that die from heart disease don't even have symptoms. And even if they have symptoms, they don't recognize them because they're looking for the traditional symptoms that mostly are described in a man experiencing a heart attack. So this book is gonna be useful to serve as a guide to th those women to know are they at risk so they can seek medical attention and also to help those other 46% of the women that don't know the heart disease is their number one killer. Unfortunately, as of today, based on the CDC statistics, only 54% of women know that heart disease is their number one life threat. And I want it to be 100%. So the book is there. The book is there to um, create that awareness, help them to understand what the risk factors are, help them understand what symptoms they can be experiencing that is actually their heart sending them a warning so they can seek medical attention in a timely manner. Unfortunately, in America, heart disease is still the number one killer in women. Almost uh, 420,000 women still die from heart disease. 50,000 more women than men die every year from heart disease. So when I write this book, I'm writing this book to help you, woman that is listening to me, um, remove your name from those statistics. If you know what your risk factors are, which are included in this book, this book will help you, guide you through what your risk factors are, and help you work with your doctor about how can you modify those risk factors so you are not one of those statistics.